Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolic. Today I have been requested to talk about Seborrhea dermatitis. So what that means is oily scale. So um, it can be associated with inflammation. So with the oil gland attached to the hair follicle, there's inflammation in the underlying and surrounding um, dermis. So the skin of the scalp and the irritation can drive the scale to come through faster. And then we've got the oil gland, which is um, overproducing as well. So seborrheic, basically oily scale, um, it can be um, with a little bit of scale or a lot of scale, and it can be with or without the red and base. It can also be anywhere else on the body, but tends to be more around um, the ears and you know, your elbow joints, knees, and things like that. Now it comes from an autoimmune background, so it can be hereditary factor, but it can also be about nutritional deficiency. So the interesting thing is when we are deficient in oil, which is essential fatty acids required for the immune system, the body produces more oil and it is in a state of inflammation. So it's, it's interesting how you think you've got excess oil problems, but it's because of an internal um, oil deficiency. So we always look at blood tests. Vitamin D deficiencies are very much related to these um, things as well. Uh, you can also ask your parents about what happened um, when you were a baby. It tends to be very much related to cradle cap as well. So with seborrhea dermatitis, we want to help to clear the site, which for us is the scalp. So I might teach you some basic topical things. And we've just got a bit of a picture here to show you how it can appear um, on your scalp at a microscopic level and then how much we can help you to clean it off. So this is what we call scalp cleansing depending on your individual scalp environment. Now we can clean it away but it's going to come back because this is only addressing the symptoms so we also need to go for the cause. So some people are happy just to learn how to clean it away but other people want to stop it from coming back as well. So I prefer combination therapy addressing symptoms and causes but we can sort of do one or the other. So it's an individual um, concern and an individual treatment based on what bothers you the most. It can very much be related with itch and some people are just happy to get rid of the scale and the itch and, and that's enough for them. It doesn't generally cause any hair loss but if you let that go it can form plaques which can then trap the hair as well. So as always um, early diagnosis you do need a microscope to see the colour of the scale to say that it is seborrhea dermatitis. Because if you use a treatment for psoriasis, it's not going to work on seborrhea dermatitis. Or if you use an anti-dandruff treatment on this, you're actually going to make it worse. So as always, I'm happy for you to share your story, questions, concerns, drop me an email. It's info at Thank you.